Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Hypermind Vanilla Season 3. We're back here over at the Iron Farm. I know something new and different, and I figured we would start out over here on the storage area. So let's just take a swing around here, and I want to show you something after I put my armor back on because we are going to be outside for a bit. Look at this. We got poppies coming in here, and we got a redstone torch. I have no idea where that redstone torch came from, but it worries me a little bit. It could be a redstone torch from back there, or it could be from the redstone down below, or it could be just that somebody didn't know what to do. So anyway, we've got a redstone torch, hmm, and we've got plenty of poppies, and that means to me that something is off with the timing, but we're not going to worry about that right now. We are going to worry about the overall look and feel of our iron farm so last time we were over here together uh, let's see i'm going to make it clear hopefully cast did not need that last time we were over here we got the beacons going we still got that you can see in the top right corner the haste 2 effect that has been very very useful you can see a lighting glitch over there and we dug out this whole area to give us plenty of space because what i want what i want when people walk in I want a sense of grandeur. Let's see if we can get it a little bit here. We come in and boom, right? Okay, so you see that that feel that we're going for? We want, whoa, that's what we want. You walk in and you've got this idea of grandeur, this thing just towering above you. And overall, you're using very little of the space. So mostly a roof that has no use whatsoever and okay that's a piece of grass not a creeper so that's what we're going to be starting on today we're not going to finish the whole thing today no we've got uh, we've got plenty of stuff to do and far more than will fit in one episode but to that end we need to get started so let's come in here we're going to grab all of the uh, what is that stone brick slabs and let's see if we can get up here what do you think horrible fail or clutch what do you think got it nope too far too far so we'll come back over here it uh that pearl went right over the hill so let's just come up here what we're going to do first is put a little bit of a ceiling situation in right now you can see that we're right under the farm and that's fine for the most part except right under you can see it right there right under the collection area we've got water drips we don't want that we don't want people that come into the iron farm to require an umbrella so what we're going to do is get the ender pearl off the hot bar and we're going to come in with some stone bricks just to give us a little texture stone bricks are easy they're really easy people get a lot of a lot of grief for doing stone bricks but you know what we're going to use this as our our baseline our canvas if you will for the ultimate roof design but for right now i think it will be sufficient so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to fill this all in not like that what we're going to do is we're going to put in on the lower side you notice here that's the top side this is the lower side lower side so one we're going to be stopping all those water particles and two this is going to be non-spawnable so we don't have to worry about lighting it up which is a good thing i just heard a piston go that means oh huh the the farm is oh hmm, 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 hmm. let's see if we have any any iron golems over here that's the first time that i've heard it reset sorry for this little uh what's the word detour here we don't have any do we have any issues let's see so all of those yeah those are all villagers let's take a look we've got 35 33 uh, yeah okay okay uh, okay, we still got golems coming through. 
And I don't see any. Usually if the thing has to reset, golems start spawning over here. So yeah, this is not what I intended on doing this episode. But you do what you gotta do sometimes. Let's take a look. And we are now running 1.9.4, so I don't have journey map installed to be able to take a big bird's eye view of what's going on here. I don't see any golems over there. I don't see any over there. But let's make sure that all of our villagers are in place. We got one here. Hmm. That's worrying. Is that? Okay, that's just one. Can we see that guy up there? I don't know if we can see him. Not from here. How about over there? Villager, villager up top. And there's a villager up there. Okay. Well, I don't know. I don't know why it's resetting. So I guess we just didn't get enough golems coming through in some period of time. Or the villages merged or something. So I will have to check on that. And I'll do that off camera after, probably after I finish this ceiling. And when we come back, we'll get to the next thing that I've got planned for our storage area. All right, see you in a bit. All right, the ceiling is now in place, at least the canvas that we're gonna be working with. So we've got the stone brick slabs covering all of that. Then I had a bit of an incident while off camera. I accidentally knocked a block out from the water collection area and all of that water went down into none other than the lava down below turning the two sources into obsidian and the extra stuff into cobblestone. So I had to fix that. And now what I've done is I've put a layer of signs above the lava just in case that happens again, because it might, given that we've got haste two going and that's, well, well, on the top part, it is cobblestone. So it shouldn't be a problem. The next thing we've got to do though, so we need to start adding some details into the walls. So the way I'm going to do that, oh, is uh, I'm going to need some of those as well. Let's make some more cobblestone walls also. We're going to need a lot of those. We don't quite have enough there. We'll have to go grab some more cobblestone later. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out a little bit of the, the floor plan a bit here. So we're going to have spruce pillars along most of the major edges here and they need to be facing the correct direction do i have an axe on me i do not i'll have to go grab one of those you can see that so right around the central drop chute here we're going to have pillars and those are going to go all the way to the ceiling okay so what i'm doing right now is just laying out the foundation a bit so that you can get an idea of what's going to go on you're not going to go there we're going to have a spruce log right there. I'm going to put a torch back behind it just for good measure. Then around here, and this is going to bring up our next step after this one. We need to move the item elevator back by three. Let's see. This block needs to be... Okay, so it's got to go back. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah, that whole thing needs to shift back the entire thing into the wall. So, yeah, we've got to deal with that next time, our next jump cut. But, yeah, so what we're going to do here is just here in the corners, like so. This is the hard one right here because we don't have a potential door in place. So we'll make sure that we've got one, two, three, four. Yeah, does that, does that line up? Yeah, that lines up. Good, good. And then over here, same thing, boom, boom. And torch there, and there we go. And this is not gonna be all that I do just here. It's just where I'm giving you the floor plan a bit. And then off camera, what I will do is carry these all the way to the ceiling. And let's see, what one more. Oh, I forgot a cobblestone wall there. Mostly because that's not gonna go, the cobblestone over here is not gonna go all the way to the ceiling it's going to go up to the height of where we are 
actually dealing with our sorting and storage stuff. So, okay, so it looks like we've got torches behind all those corners and we've got our outline pretty much done. So, yeah, so we've got a lot of jump cuts in this one. It's just the way it's going to be because I really want to get this design. I'm going to show it to you and get your opinions on it and then we can continue with some of the other stuff. So right now we're going to be working on the user interface here and then we'll get to like the walls and the floor and ceiling in later episodes. But we'll get this in and then hopefully get to some of the redstone in the future. But for now, let me go off camera, finish these columns, and then when we come back, uh, we'll see where to go next. Well, I figured it was about time to bring you back for another progress update. Ooh, our golem just dropped down. So I've had to reset because of that uh, little mishap with the lava and obsidian and all that. So they're just getting back going again. So I'm here on the northern side of the iron farm. We're going to go through this entrance. I've opened this up because the walking path from uh, Port Hypermine is going to come along this way and go to the eventual rail station that Basket is planning right there. So anyway, we're going to come through here. You can see some of the work that's already been done. And there we go. So we've got the vertical pillars in place. I didn't do any of the horizontal pillars. We'll get that in a future jump cut or between episodes. Who knows? We'll see how we end up doing that. But you can see one of the next steps we've got to do is move this item elevator. It is clearly in the way. This part needs to move back into the wall and then the item stream needs to move. And this is temporary because ultimately all of the storage is going to be in this room. So this is going out to the temporary storage up front that we were at at the beginning of the episode. Eventually we'll bring it into a massive sorting array in here because we've got a few things, a few other things we're going to be storing. So before I jump and cut to moving that, because it is going to require changing some stuff down in the basement, let's work out one of the alcoves for some of the other, uh, other storage things that we're going to be doing. So what we will be doing is kind of splitting up this wall and that wall. So it's the... What, 17 on one side, 17 on the other, and then 5 in the middle. So what's that? 17, 17 is 34 plus 5, so 39. The 39 wide side. We're going to split these into uh, three wide sections. So let's go like this. Okay. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? So you see how that works out? Do I have some sea lantern? Yeah, I've got a sea lantern right there. Okay, so we're going to have four of those sections right here, four on that side, and then again another eight on that side. So four there and four over there. So let's just work out one of them real quick, and then I will copy that seven more times over on the other side or all around. So what we're going to do is, uh, let's see, we'll go what? We want a storage thing right here. Did I bring the chests? No, of course I didn't. Are they right here? Yes, they're right there. Good. And we want a little bit of light under here. And I don't have my silk touch. So hopefully I get this correct. And if I don't, well, we'll be in a world of hurt. So we'll put the cobble back right there and we'll put some more cobble right there and then sea lantern like so chest right there like that and then we're gonna have a hopper in behind but we'll take care of that at a later point but let's just take out this right here we'll go up oh, I like odd numbers so we'll try and go up to as far as I can reach and that should be five total and we don't need the sea lanterns or chest anymore. We got a lot of stuff on our bar already. That's amazing. Amazing. So we don't need those either. I think we'll bring in some dark oak fence. We'll get some stone brick as well. Let's just fill in with stone brick for now. And then we'll bring in a junk block 
for behind the scenes. So what I want to do is frame this in. Let's see. Was that one, two, three, four? And then we'll go up top and we'll just provide a little bit of, of some structure here, some design. All right. And then what we will do is get some more of the spruce wood and let's go up a little bit, give us some height and oh, and that's the downside of the 1.9 feature there. We will put a torch right there for the time being. Okay, so that's at least a start, right? So we would copy that ideally eight or seven more times, put the spruce log up and then spruce log across. Oh, we're on with cast still. And he has been sleeping the night away. I think he's still doing stuff with villagers over at his base. So we'll just make it a little bit safer for him. All right, so we are using the BOO texture pack, and you can see that that changes things a little bit with the stone brick texture. So it kind of randomizes it based on the XYZ positions. But I don't, I don't know. We, we want a little bit more. So the main wall is going to be a lot of stone brick. So we want to do something a little different. So let's maybe go in, uh, just provide some depth here. Okay, so one of the ways that I usually do that is with stairs. So we'll bring those back down. Maybe make that one go upside down, this one go right side up. Okay, so we're adding a little bit of depth there and a little bit more visual interest. Maybe let's knock those out. And we're going to bring in a uh, another detail block here. So let's try some cobble back behind this and we'll see how that looks. And then we'll put some fences on the front. Again, you've seen me do this before with windows. Instead, right now we're just gonna kind of put a little cobble texture behind it. We don't have, we're not gonna have windows here because we don't have, we're kind of buried in the middle of a mountain. So, uh, you know, that open to the air is not necessarily the best option. And then I want to take this out. I don't really like what's going on there. And what we will do is bring in some polished andesite and we'll see what that does for us. So bring that in. Okay, so that breaks it up. Still working within the same color palette, right? But it you know, it, it changes things up a bit, gives it a more formalized look. There's one more thing I want to try. I can't, I'm not sure if I can remember how to do this. It's not a block that I've normally worked with before because for the entirety of my time um, in Minecraft, it has been one of those that I just, I don't have access or hadn't had access to. And I hope, I may, I may not be getting it. There we go. So it's the chiseled stone brick. I want to do that a few more times. So let's do that again. Okay, we'll get some more of those. Let's bring those in. So when I started Minecraft, you could not craft these things. And that means that we really just didn't use them. So I've never, I've never really messed with them. And let's put it where I can actually access it. Put that there, and we'll do the same thing there. And this is where haste two is not so good when you're dealing with these types of blocks up here. Let's just throw in the chiseled stone brick like so. All right, so that's adding a little bit more visual interest. Again, it's depth, but within within one block. So we don't we don't really have to keep it to this, you know, this thin of a design, but you know, the more, the more texture you can fit in, in a smaller space, you know, I, I think it's better, you know, let me know what you think. Is that how you build? Uh, one thing also I want to try is adding a little bit of color and you can see some of the colors that I have in mind in my inventory. We're going to try some of the prismarine variety. So let's do this. We'll bring these in and just get rid of the cobble here in the back. And let's see what the prismarine brick looks like. And we'll put 
You put the beef away and then bring back some of the dark oak fence. We'll see how that goes. Okay, so get get that in your mind's eye. Okay, and we're going to try a couple different options here. Let's take out those and then once again. And did you know that Prismarine responds to haste too as well? So you got to watch out for that. Let's try this. Okay. So again, mind's eye. The reason why I'm doing this is because I'm going to ask your opinion in a poll. Okay, so that's the dark prismarine. I like that one. Can't say that I am a fan of the prismarine brick. And what did I knock down up top there? It's probably a piece of granite. And let's put in the regular prismarine and see what happens there. Let's jump up on that chest again. Okay. And I like that one as well. So we're going to put, put it to two options. And you should see in the top right corner of your screen right now, a little icon pop up. It's a little eye. If you click on that, there will be two options in a poll there for dark prismarine or prismarine. So you have a little bit of a say. We're going to go with simple majority. So, so yeah. Do take a look at that. What I'm going to do for now is just leave this one like so. And do I have enough material for the rest? No. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this whole thing around seven more times. So four there, four on, on that quadrant over there, three more times there, four there. I'll put dark prismarine in this one, and then I'll just leave it as cobble in the rest of them. And then once we know the results of this poll, I'll come back through and add that in. And also on the next jump cut, I will have moved the item elevator. So lots of stuff about to happen. And when we come back, yeah, we'll be well on our way. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to bring you back and show you the progress. So I have carried around that design that we worked out in the last cut. And you can see that all the way around here and some extra because I saw that the episode was getting kind of long and I wanted to get this user interface in place so that you can see what we are going to be working with. Looks like I missed couple of spots there but that's fine so uh, let's see if we can grab no I, I have to just go make some more all right so what we've done is put in the prismarine back behind this one dark prismarine here again there should be a pole or should have been a pole on the screen a few minutes ago and so what I want you to do is let me know just uh, take a quick quick second to put in your particular design desire there and we will take the simple majority and carry that around behind these dark oak fences all the way around even up in those so just to give you an idea of what we're going to be doing with all of these chests you can you can see kind of what we're doing we're going to get you're getting a sneak peek of what we're going to be doing around the spawn area so we've got potential for inter pearls and sugar cane and so this is kind of my to-do list, the various farms that we're going to be seeing and what they produce. And that's just to give you a little sneak peek of what's coming to the spawn area. So, so there we go. Uh, the other thing that I needed to do was to push back the item elevator. So it was right here where you can see the stone brick and I've pushed it back into the wall. You can see the water right there. That's going to the current temporary storage area. And then eventually it will go up top and carry into the sorting system that we put in in some future episode. I'm not going to make any promises. So uh, let's see over here. We've got what's going to be the junk chest. OK, so anything that comes through the sorting system that we don't have a spot for is going to go in here and we'll take care of overflow within each of these uh, silos eventually. And then right here, this is going to be things to send back. Uh, no, no, no. This is going to be things to send to the trash can. And then over here is the bulk iron ingot storage, or what will become the bulk iron ingot storage. You can see that there's actually nothing back there. This is Again, this is just the facade, and we'll take care of the functionality later. And then down here, uh, we'll, we'll have the iron block crafting and so that'll go into a water stream go back into our item elevator and get sorted over into that one so 
Anyway, we got the user interface done. Hopefully you enjoy. Let me know what you think of the design. And again, I'm going to have a link to the poll or to the section in this video for the poll for dark prismarine versus regular prismarine blocks. So I do want to know what you think about that. So anyway, that's going to be it for now. If you enjoyed, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing so that you are up to date with everything going on on the channel. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.